All right, so today we're going to be direct die cooling my 9900K, and this is my Ghostus one. Obviously, the side panels are off. Here's the direct die frame from Rocket Cool. My 9900K is already deleted. It's I have a copper IHS on it, and uh, as you can see, I have two NFA. 12 x25 fans at the bottom and then I have an NFA 12 x15 fan right here so it's push-pull uh, I can't put a 25 uh, millimeter fan here because of the AIO tubing if I did the tubing myself then I could route it around one tube here from the rad and then another along this side along the power supply but I mean, this is pretty good for off the shelf. Um, one second, here's the other side. So I have one NFA 15 fan right in front of the motherboard VRMs because I had better VRM temperatures when I had the Noctua L12S on it. So with this, it cools about the same. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it, so we're going to take this apart, and I'm going to be putting the, I'm probably going to be getting rid of the push-pull slim fan, so I'm going to get rid of this, and uh, when you have the fans at the bottom, yeah, if you had the case vertically mounted like this, yeah, so it'd be less turbulent, uh, so we're going to put these two fans above the radiator, pulling the air off the radiator up. And uh, basically, the GPU will have to deal with more heat, but it's fine. The CPU will pull the heat. The NFA 12X25 fans will pull the heat off the radiator up. That's better for the CPU. Um, obviously when you're running a 9900K at 5 gigahertz versus, uh, let's say, if it, if it was running less, then you, know, you wouldn't have to worry about that. Anyway, I take this apart. All right, we're making decent progress. We got the front, back, and uh, we just gotta get it off. The large top hat's front panel. All right, there, we're done. All of the top hat is gone. Here's the radiator. Uh, and that's the, uh, you know, the AIO grill. I'm gonna unscrew the fans. Okay, the AIO is free. There's no pressure on anything. All right, cool, cool, cool. So the rad is just, there it is, resting like that. All right, so this is the AIO mounting grill. I'm gonna remove this fan. I'm gonna remove the slim fan off the mounting grill. There's a guy on uh, Reddit, he actually makes his own AIO mounting grill. It has better holes, so it doesn't cause turbulence like this one. It just has a gap. So basically, you can mount two fans, slim fans, big fans, whatever you want, 120s only. And, I mean, I guess you could mount like a 140 millimeter fan if it fits within a 120 millimeter mount, but I'm pretty sure it'd be too big. There's, I haven't seen one. I know you can mount it on the front panel, the I want to say cryotech. Maybe it is. Cryo rig? Yeah, it's a cryo rig slim 140 millimeter fan with 120 millimeter mounts. 
So here it is, slim fan. I'm just right, trying good. to clean up the dye itself as much as I can. I'm trying to clean up any liquid metal that might be on the edges. And yeah, it looks good. So you put a little bit of polish onto the dye itself. To be honest, you don't really need that much. Like just like, honestly, that's like way more than I needed anyway, but whatever. Yeah, so really all you do is just, you put it on there and then you just wait. I mean, it doesn't happen magically. You just like, you know, like rub it in. Okay. It's been about a minute. All right, watch this, bro. You can see some magic. Can you see that? So now I take another Q-tip with alcohol, and then we're gonna clean all this off. So I'm not sure if you can tell. But that's the that's the dye after it's been polished. It's like mirror reflective. Still got some smudge marks, but um, honestly, it's fine. Anyway, okay, so now I polish this. I'm gonna polish the CPU cold plate. All right, boys and girls. I've polished the copper plate of the AIO. Um, yeah, it's got some scratches, but it used. And now we're gonna set this up. Alright, so this is the Noctua Secure Firm 2. And then these are the, the O rings it comes with. I need to put two on each of the posts. This is putting liquid metal onto the CPU die. Okay, yeah, it looks it looks good. Honestly, we'll see if the AI will mount. If it doesn't, I'm gonna just try using the L12s and see how it performs. Not to a mount with the AI O. That's so dope. It made contact. That's a Noctua Secu Firm 2 mount, and uh, yeah, it works, you know, with the AIO. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work right now. Now mount the AIO. literally a 
amazing. All right, we'll we'll see if the, how the direct eye performs. All right, so I am mounting the cooler again. Unfortunately, with the SecuFirm two and the rocket cool spacers. It still didn't make contact with the die itself. So if I'm probably gonna run this, probably gonna have to use the regular default Ace Attack AIO mount. That's what it looks like. So yeah. It made contact a little bit, but the whole die isn't making like proper contact like you had a little bit of thermal paste contacting it. I spread out the liquid metal how it should look. The edges of the die itself would touch and you could see the outline. I spread it out in the middle but yeah. Anyway I'm going to mount the air cooler. I'm going to go up into the quality but I had to go get my other phone because I was using my phone. It's out of storage. Now I'm mounting the SecuFirm 2 and then I'm going to try it with the Noctua L12S right there. And we're going to see how good the temperatures are direct eye cooling it. Alright, so at this point I'm setting up Ida64. My 9900K is direct eye cooled on the AIO mount because the air cooler would not make contact with the CPU die itself. I used the two O-rings that were included by Rocket Cool. I watched their YouTube video, it would not work. I had no issues at all using the Corsair Asetek AIO mount with the two O-ring spacers and works great. So yeah, the test is IDA64 stressing the CPU, the cache, the FPU, I believe GPU was selected as well, and then the RAM. I did not select the NVMe drives. There's no point to stress that. That's not the point of the video. But yeah, in the following, you will see the noise level with the pump on extreme and the fans on extreme, the Corsair profile of balance, which is balance on the pump, balance with the fans. And I believe I have quiet or a constant set. So quiet pump and quiet fans as well. But yep, enjoy. In this recording, you're seeing how the pump and the fan sound like on Corsair Extreme Profile Max setting. And as you can tell, it's loud. And this is with the pump on balanced fans on the quiet profile and this last clip is me running the fans at 1200 rpm constant and yes, the PC is in the closet, so even if the fans do ever ramp up, I can't hear it. It's what Linus does, and that's where I got the idea. It also lets all of the heat build up in there. Doesn't really affect the overall temperatures, even though it's been getting hotter recently. And pretty happy with it. It's still a portable PC, and if I want to take it to a friend's house or on the go, I just disconnect all the wires, but... Uh, even though I have a standing desk, I just routed the wires down along the desk and into the closet. That's pretty much it. No drilling, no holes. Very happy. And thank you.